Uh, hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to implement provider service in AngularJS. Uh, by the way, in AngularJS, provider is another type of service. We normally use this if we want to if we want our business logic or service implementation to be configurable. So the first step is we need to include our AngularJS library in our HTML page. So let me, let me copy and paste my code for that. Okay. So this is how uh, we include our AngularJS library. Okay. Then the second step is we need to create an AngularJS module for our simple AngularJS application. Normally we write this in a in a separate JS file, but for demo purpose, we will just write this in our HTML page as well. So let me copy and paste for this one. So this is how we create a module in uh, Angular JS. Then. Uh, once we create the module, we use the variable, this variable, which contains the module instance. We use it uh, to uh, create or define our provider. So let me copy, copy and paste the code for that. So this is the provider uh, uh, implementation. As you can see, uh, the first argument is the name of the provider. The second is the implementation of the provider. Okay, so uh, inside the implementation, you can see uh, there is a uh, uh, two part. The first part is the get the implementation for our get dollar sign get method, and the second the second part is the uh, the interface or the setter method where we set our configurable variable. Okay. So uh, the okay for uh, the implementation of our get dollar sign get method, basically uh, it's just a simple function. Okay, this function basically returns an object. This object, as you can see, contains a method. A simple and in our case we have a simple method here, which is say hello method and what it does is just uh, it returns a simple string okay so basically this is the implementation of our provider then of course uh, we need to configure this uh, provider so uh, how to do that basically we need to let me cut first let me copy and paste let me copy and paste first the code for that okay so basically again we need a uh, we need to use the variable where the module instance is stored and call the method config. So in this uh, method, we need to pass a function implementation. And in this function, we need to pass uh, the, pro uh, we need to pass the pro provider, our provider, okay? So uh, we need also to, uh, to, to follow a, a naming convention here. So in our case, the name of our provider is hello world, which is this, hello world. Uh, basically, we need to append the provider string, literal uh, provider in our provider name. That's, that's the reason why the, we pass uh, hello, hello world provider here. So this is the, the, the full or complete complete uh, name for our uh, provider. If we don't follow the, con uh, the naming convention, it will not work. So we have to remember this. The name of the provider that we specify here when we define the provider uh, plus the literal uh, provider. So so what so uh, given the, the name hello world, the complete name here is hello world provider okay so inside the implementation we just uh, uh, set the or configure the provider accordingly so in our case uh, we we created a setter method or interface 
to uh, interface with a configurable variable which is name see as you can see this is the implementation of our setter method okay uh, what it does is just simp uh, it's just pass the argument to this name okay and and this name will be a uh, uh, access by our uh, our um, method in our inside our uh, dollar sign get method okay which is say hello as you can see this is the name our, uh, argument right so basically after we create the, the provider the implementation we uh, configure it then we are ready to test it so how to test it we need to create a uh, basically we need to create a controller okay then let me copy and paste my controller implementation here so now again uh, we use the variable the where that we keep the module instance and call the controller method we pass the name of the controller and uh, pass the implementation of that uh, controller, which is this, okay? So uh, the first argument is uh, the scope object. As, I, as we discussed in my previous uh, video, the scope actually is the context where we store the model. So, so this is the serb. This is a reserved service, okay? Then the second argument is the provider that we created here. This is this one. Hello world. So, uh, okay. So once we pass the our provider, we can access the, we can call the method in our provider, which is hey, say hello, right? This is the one. Okay. Uh, basically, this method, as uh, you can see, the implementation is very basic, right? It will just return a string. So this string will be uh, stored in our model data, which is value, right? Then this uh, model data, we can display it in our HTML element. Okay, let me copy and paste my HTML element. Okay, here. So as you can see in the body, we... we, uh, we map the name of our angular application which is here you can see here my app right see uh, using a ng app directive we map the name of the application then also the the controller using the ng dash controller directive we map it to our controller which is this one then uh, the model this one actually the value we access the model data using expression in angular js this is how we uh, code the expression okay so we access whatever the value of this value uh, we display it basically the value of this will be coming from this method okay now I, I think our code is completed already let's let's try let's run it see as you can see uh, the string is displayed accordingly right so uh, guys as you uh, as you can see that's the our simple uh, angular JS provider implementation is working fine so uh, in my next video I will show you how to implement AngularJS factory and service. So stay tuned and happy learning.